All right, so this is this is towards the end of the course, right? And so what you're doing, you're galloping up the hill. Now, what makes this a difficult course? That's a ditch in front of that bank that you have to jump. So they don't even give you an option unless once you get up and have a stop, they give you an option, right? But you're supposed to jump the ditch, and then the horse will decide whether to put in a shuffle stride, jump those yellow rails on top, and then dead straight to the brush right there where you saw Jimmy, that has the red and white flag, and then you run an angle to that one right there. So that gives you an option. If they stumble and act a little funny over that, you could turn and just jump this white flag and take a longer way around. Or if they jumped up and stopped at the top yellow ones, then there's a vertical, just a vertical like that on the other side. You could jump that one, right? And then come around and jump that one and then come around and jump this one and then end up over that one. So you'd lose a lot of time, but it's close to the end. But, but they're saying right now, and you, you hope your horse is good enough, that you have to jump the ditch and then you have to work your way through that, okay? So this is towards the end. And then what we'll do is we'll take you guys down to the head of the lake, show you the head of the lake, and then if there's anything you want else after that you want to see, you know, way in the back there, the sunken roads and all that, you just got to yell and we'll drag out there and try to do that, okay? But if you get a shot, uh, uh, Nan was saying, we got to go through there and that, but it would be very good for you before you cross there, even if you cross there, walk up there so you can see what it looks like frontal wise, the ditch and stuff. Because when you're jumping a ditch to something like that, you want to keep your hand up so that you're using the ditch as a takeoff rail, not like, oh, there's a ditch. Like if you're just jumping an open ditch, all it is is a continuation of a canter stride. So you want their head down, all they do is like, over it, right? Well, if you're jumping or it's a cane or a ditch like this, you want your hands elevated so they're looking through their bifocals up at that so they don't see the ditch until they're leaving the ground. That's the art of that. That's the difference, okay? So go on over and take around this way and take a look at what we're at and then we'll take you down to the head of the lake.